of the balcony at Buckingham Palace where the newly crowned king and queen as you see them there waving to the public and as we know this is such an iconic shot one that has been seen around the world you see there King Charles III and Queen Camilla. And the royal family just now starting to step out onto the balcony. This is such a historic moment we're looking at here. We're waiting to see which members of the royal family make an appearance. Of course, we saw the um, Prince William and Kate earlier. We saw their three children as well, waiting for them to make an appearance as well. Actually, Alex, it was interesting. Prince George, he's the second in line, of course, to the British throne. He held a special role in that coronation. Obviously, this is the first coronation the UK has had in 70 years. You can see them to the left of your screen, Prince William, Princess Kate, the three children there as well. The eldest son of the prince and princess, he was the page of honor processing behind King Charles, holding the ceremonial robe as they were entering the abbey. And then of course, Princess Charlotte really taking the spotlight. Mm -hmm. Prince Louis, the youngest there, uh, capturing the attention as well. Nicole Perez has been live on the ground in London for us all week long. She's live there on the ground as well. We're uh, waiting to hear from her right now. Yes, and as we are waiting for Nicole, as we have been talking about all morning long and you've been seeing in our special coverage here, one of the coronation processions, once they reach Buckingham Palace, then of course they have the royal salute and then leading to where we are right now, which is that iconic shot of the royal family on the Buckingham Palace balcony waving to everybody. We want to go over to Nicole Perez, who's live in London right now. Alex and Andrew, what a sight to see right now. King Charles III on the balcony waving alongside Queen Camilla and other members of the royal family. He is wearing the imperial state crown. They look stunning up there on the balcony the first time we see them up there. Remember the last time a balcony shot we had was in the Jubilee with Queen Elizabeth, the late Queen Elizabeth II. So as they wave to the crowd below, millions of people there braving the rain and the cold and the wind um, to get a glimpse of this shot before the fly pass. Now we're waiting to get word on what is happening with the fly pass because of the weather. They've been doing some tests to see if they can get the planes up in the sky. Andrew, I heard you talking about Prince George, only nine years old. And let me tell you what a role he had in this for his grandfather, one of the heirs to the throne, second heir, his father, William, the heir to uh, King Charles. To Prince George was able to hold King Charles's robe during the procession. He was one of the pages of honor. There was uh, eight of them. The rest included the grandchildren of Queen Camilla. But well, he did such a great job uh, in his position. And, and every time the cameras got a glimpse of him, he was very serious. He looked a little bit nervous as a young boy. Um, but what a great job he did as one of the pages of honor. There was Prince Louis, who also behaved very well during the service. Uh, Princess Charlotte, she looked beautiful. Her tiara matched her mother's. The Princess of Wales, Kate, uh, they really did look stunning. And then they got to ride in one of the carriages on the way back, the coronation procession to Buckingham Palace. And you would get glimpses of the kids waving. They were so proud to be waving, big smiles on their faces. So it was really, truly nice to see. So now you're looking, if you're not looking live, this is the balcony shot with the members of the royal family. So King Charles III, Queen Camilla, her sister is up there with her as well. Annabelle, she played a very important role in this. Camilla wanted her sister to be a part of it. She's very close to her sister. Uh, she sat behind her in the church in Westminster Abbey. And now there she is, the new queen, uh, Charles's wife of almost 20 years. You know, we talked to a lot of people in the crowd because when you mention King Charles, a lot of people remember Princess Diana. And there's always some friction when it comes to Princess Diana and Queen Camilla. And people had a lot to say, but now they're welcoming their new king and their new queen. And I believe the fly, fly past is happening at the moment. There are 16 helicopters that are gonna take part in in this fly pass and it looks like they got clearance to go ahead and go through with it 60 aircrafts will be a part of this fly pass it'll last for six minutes so go ahead and take a look live now at these cloudy skies in central london members of the army the royal navy royal air force are all taking part in this over central london and if you guys are talking I, it's a little bit hard to hear so go ahead and interrupt me if, if need be um, this show is going to end with the red arrows. It's going to be a, a, a final crescendo, a beautiful show in the sky. Let's take a look now at some of the helicopters that are flying by. 
And right, Nicole, this is so incredible to see. And obviously people are taking this in on the ground in real time. We saw that kind of procession of the people up to Buckingham Palace because they start all the way on the other side of the mount. And then just before this moment, they're actually brought up as a giant group. Kind of talk about that moment. How many people have been out there? You know, what, what do they do now? Andrew, millions of people are out here. I don't have an exact number for you, but just based on the images and, you know, based on being here in the past for the funeral coverage and the Jubilee, there are millions of people out here witnessing this. And we did actually watch that as well. So along the Mall, that's where the processions were happening. So on the way to the Abbey, they had it cordoned off. So there was barriers up and a lot of police around. So they weren't letting people spill onto the Mall because they had to let the procession go. So once they came back, the coronation, uh, coronation procession came back, they opened it up so they allowed the people to spill on into the mouth. They actually did that during the Jubilee. We were sort of blocked off and then once we had clearance you kind of saw people running onto the mouth. We did see that today because everybody's very excited. They want to be directly under so all you have to do is look up and see this amazing show in the sky. So it is incredible to see people don't care about the rain. It's been raining for hours out here but they are going to get their spots. I, I believe there were some high rises as well that people were going up to to see. I mean and all all you really see of the crowd is everybody looking up to see what's happening because it's truly incredible. Live look. We're taking a live look at this uh, balcony moment right now that everyone's taking in. We have not seen Prince Harry just yet. We also haven't seen Princess Anne. Obviously, she's very close to her brother, now King. Princess Anne, go, though, she go, was part of the, the military. Here's There's the flyover you were talking about happening right now. Yeah, take a look at this. Let's take a moment and take it in. You know, it's important to remember it's not only the country there taking this in, but the world. This is a, a global event. So many countries so invested and so involved in the royal family and, you know, watching this coronation live. We've had it here since five o'clock in the morning, our time. Um, we've been following this family for, for decades now and so much history tied into this family. Yeah, and what's really been interesting as we were taking a look at the royal family on the balcony here, we've heard leading up to this event, the importance of signifying the shift of the monarchy. And we'll talk about that as they navigate the blend of obviously progressive society and really the representation of the times and tying that all in with the deep-rooted, long-standing tradition, which has been done so beautifully today. Uh, Nicole, can we talk about just, I know we're taking a look at this image here and, and we are seeing this in terms of just the panning of everybody out there. What are some of the things that you have heard from people just being out in London and leading up to obviously the coronation and what this signifies in terms of just how momentous this moment is for everybody there. So we have talked to a lot of people while we've been here, Pe locals, tourists, people from all over the world, as you mentioned. A lot of uh, British people tell me they are very proud to be British in this moment. But then we have spoken to many Americans, too, who say they've come over here because they wanted to witness this. We have never seen something like this. The last time was in 1953. For so, so for some people, this is the only time they will ever get to witness this. So it, it's a moment in history, and a lot of people have expressed that. Another thing that people have said, it, we, we've met, we met this woman from Poland, and she said she appreciated the king and, and his choice in uh, diversifying this coronation. This was the first coronation where they had non-Christian faith leaders, Muslims, Buddhists, Jewish, Sikhs, have a role in this coronation. They were presenting him with regalia. That's the first time that happens. Female bishops, the first time they take part in the coronation. So while he stuck to many traditions, and that was very important to the British people, he also made it his own. and and opened it up a bit, started to modernize it, uh, uh, change the times, but, but keep some of the traditions that are thousands of years old. Um, some, some of the other things that the people have, we've spoken to so many people and it's so incredible to hear what they have to say, but a lot of them very proud, a lot of them who had a different opinion of King Charles maybe eight months ago when 
uh, Queen Elizabeth passed and we were here for her funeral, they have completely changed their minds. And a lot of what they say is, we're open to it now. We, we know that he's been waiting for a long time, his whole life, to be in this position. And now we want to see what he's going to do. We want to give him a chance. I do want to make a mention, Alex and Andrew, of the fly pass. So it was supposed to be a six-minute fly pass with 60 aircraft. So now I know I've mentioned it's been raining for several hours. It was a huge scale down, but because of the weather, they can't take chances, safety reasons. So we did see the helicopters, and what you saw there was the red arrows. The, that was supposed to be the culmination of the fly pass. So they did scale it down, but they were able to put on a little bit of a show, and I know that the crowd appreciated that. If you take a live look, you're probably looking at the balcony. King Charles uh, doing his final wave there. Members of the royal family walking inside Buckingham Palace. Uh, signifying the end of this coronation. It, it really was incredible. I mean, it's hard to choose another word, but the pomp and ceremony that the British do, they do so well. Uh, the largest military operation in 70 years. Uh, it was truly incredible to be here, and, and I know I speak for the millions in the crowd that wouldn't have wanted to be anywhere else. Absolutely. In recent years, especially, spaces on the balcony have really been reserved for working members of the royal family. Um, Charles was very clear that the coronation, it's not just a, a family event, it is a state event at the end of the day. So many people understanding that, coming together to really celebrate and, and enjoy this moment. And you know, probably there were so many beautiful moments during the coronation, but probably one of, in, in my opinion, one of the most powerful moments was when we had the gospel music, which was included in the coronation this year. We had the Ascension yes. Choir, handpicked by the king himself, really talking and speaking to the change in terms of the evolution of the monarchy, which is obviously a welcomed conversation and beautiful to see. Important to note also, there were some people missing from the balcony yes. shot. I'm sure that'll be dissected in the coming days,